Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Now today we're going to break down at a high level how you can get started creating an app like Uber. We will discuss how it works, how to start building, and key features and how to implement them. As always, if you have any questions throughout this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. The ride hailing segment is definitely something to watch out for as it disrupts and evolves. The taxi app Uber has been rated second for the most disruptive innovation company worldwide, overtaken only by SpaceX. The Uberization has significantly altered the taxi, logistics, healthcare, and other industries. The last decade has witnessed a shift in the way that people are moving around places. There is no doubt that with a rising population and a desire to travel conveniently, apps like Uber have a promising future. If you're wondering what it really takes to launch your online taxi booking business, then keep watching this video to know all of the technical features required. So how does Uber work? While we don't intend to clone the app, it's wise that we understand the technical aspects of the application. Uber launched its iOS app in 2010, and in the first six months, it reached 6,000 users. The Uber app is free to download with passengers and riders connecting 24 seven, and it's mostly a five-step process that includes request, matching, ride, payment, and finally the rating. So it first creates a trip request. So this shows the rider the upfront price, then the verification of the trip. A driver ready to take the trip accepts it. After reaching the destination, the payment process is done automatically. And lastly, Uber requests a rating after each taxi ride as it is their core component of the business logic. The app includes a base fare based on the location. It calculates ride fares by combining time and distance indicators. And if the car is moving slowly, for example, under 11 miles per hour, the charge is based on time. And if it goes swiftly, then the charge is based on the miles. So how do you start building the app? Well, the development process of designing an Uber-like app starts with research. Make a list of all of the features that you think are crucial to making your app successful. For an existing business, consider your current operations. For a new business plan, go as per your vision. Always try to think of features that offer an enhanced experience as compared to existing services. You need to decide whether you will have a native or hybrid type of app and or platform that it will be built on, for example, iOS and Android. And this will determine the course of your app development. This paves the road for technical specifications, architecture, and the tech stack, which will be used for the app. Development can be tracked from scratch or using a ready-made solution. After the app is built, the deployment is done to the live environment for functionality checks and performance testing on a range of services. Uber is effective due to its simple and straightforward process and experience. The taxi booking app is a play of two mobile apps for rider and driver. There's also an admin panel to make sure everything runs smoothly. So let's take a look at some of the crucial and necessary features. First, we're gonna look at geolocation and routing. While very basic, geolocation is the most indispensable characteristic of any taxi booking app. The whole process depends on how well it can identify the user's exact location, coupled with GPS and complex data sharing process that happens behind the scenes. The routes and direction in Android versions are powered by Google Maps, whereas the iOS app versions are powered by the core location framework. Next, we're going to look at payments. Uber's cashless payments have made this a standard in any type of taxi booking app. Uber uses a fare calculator, which includes factors like base fare, type of vehicle, cost per mile, cost per minute, and safe ride speed. Whether it's an Android or iOS app, both offer multiple payment features like PayPal, numerous credit cards, scan cards by screen, etc., etc. It's essential to observe certain prerequisites and country policies for handling this data securely in order to proceed with payment integration. Push notifications and messaging. The communication within the app, like requesting a ride, rating, reviewing, and keeping your customers informed with offers and discounts goes a long way. Twilio is a good provider for text messages in apps. 
In order to equip the app with push notifications on iOS, use Apple Push Notifications Service, and for Android apps, Firebase Cloud Messaging should be used. Lastly, we're gonna look at the user interface and user experience design. This is one of the most significant aspects of app development. You will need an expert like an Android or iOS app developer to customize the apps adhering to the correct development norms. Other standard features like registration and profile management, prior scheduling or ride, fare splitting, cancellation of ride without penalties are also part of the taxi app development. Some features exclusive to the driver app are driver report, driver destinations, and advanced route building. While giants like Uber and Lyft are placed as industry leaders, there is still plenty of room for new players to innovate. If you have a unique value proposition and wish to probe this segment's less explored areas, then you can surely create a rewarding monetization strategy. The idea is to start with thorough research and ascertain product feasibility and response. So there you have it. This is how you can get started building an app like Uber at a high level, from how it works, how to start building, and key features including geolocation and routing, payments, push notifications and messaging, and UI UX design. Do you feel like there's a niche that hasn't been targeted in this specific segment? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't be afraid to leave any questions. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.